Hi, this is Sheetal and the first thing I want to do today is to say a very big thank you to all of you who have been watching my latest series of videos leaving your valuable comments uh, for those videos and also liking and sharing them. I also noticed that a lot of you left comments uh, with suggestion requests, home remedy requests or otherwise. So I thought it would be a wonderful idea to do a video and talk to you sort of one to one um, and uh, answer your questions. Uh, so without wasting any time at all, I'd like to get started. So we picked um, a bunch of uh, these comments from the latest videos and I'm going to handle them here right right now so the first one is from Tatiana Lopez and Tatiana says I heard potatoes take away melasma do you have a video so Tatiana yes you're right um, as far as Ayurveda is concerned it's been known that potatoes uh, can fade the appearance of dark marks and discoloration and patchiness of skin and uh, melasma definitely is a disorder that involves discoloration of skin so I'd say yes but one thing <clears throat> that I'd also say is that the mechanism of action of potato uh, is probably not known at least uh, as far as I'm concerned I'm not aware so in other words we don't know from a scientific point of view how potato how potatoes might do that but I give a lot of importance to empirical evidence uh, that has been um, gathered for like 5,000 plus years. And potato juice is an Ayurvedic mainstay as far as lightening of pigmentation or melasma of skin is concerned. Now, do we have a video? You bet we do. So what you want to do is you want to scroll to the video section on our Facebook page, which I'm assuming you are on right now and um, there you will um, find it there is a potato juice and pineapple remedy to brighten up your skin and fade the look of those dark marks and um, pigmentation of skin so moving on to the next comment it is by Tabassam Ali and Tabassam says need a remedy for dark skin around the eyes including eyelids thanks so she's talking about dark under eye circles and definitely I've done a couple of videos, um, one of them very recently using banana peels. Um, so I'd say the best some do take a moment and watch that video. But I'll share another one with you, a home remedy with you really quickly. And for this you will need about one tablespoonful of freshly squeezed cucumber juice, one teaspoonful of cooled off and brewed green tea, about six drops of vitamin E oil and about only one fourth teaspoonful of instant coffee. So you are going to mix these ingredients quite well and with the tips of your fingers or just a cotton ball you're going to dab it all along your eye area, under eye area and over eye area also. So in about 10 or 12 minutes wash it off with lukewarm water and don't forget use your very high quality natural eye serum right after. That is a very beneficial thing to do. Comment number three is from Bharti Shah and Bharti says need a remedy for teenage acne. I have two teenagers with full-blown acne uh, with nut allergies. Any other substitute for peanut butter? So the first thing I'll say to Bharti is that when we talk about acne, we're talking about a deeper down issue, a bacterial infection um, that manifests itself externally as acne. Internal reasons could be so many for teenagers, we understand hormonal fluctuations is the top reason. So what I'm saying is that having a daily skincare routine is going to be a must, a very, very important thing. As far as a home remedy um, is concerned, I'll share a real quick one with you. We get one tablespoonful of fuller's earth, in Hindi it's called Multani Mitti. Now for those of you who don't know what it is or don't have it necessarily, you can use bentonite which is a wonderful, wonderful clay also. So to this we'll add about half a teaspoonful of aloe vera gel and just enough rose water to form a thick paste. Now this goes on the acne prone areas of the skin, I'd say one to two times a week, no more than that, in 12 minutes, by now you know the drill, 12-15 minutes, wash it off gently and use your serum and your lotion right after. Now in this case it's going to be uh, the, uh, the lotion and skincare products for acne prone skin. 
Comment number next, Sandeep Sandhu and Poonam Soni. Is the peanut butter and turmeric face mask good for acne prone skin? You know, to both of you, I'd say the remedy that I shared moments ago is a better idea. Something heavy like peanut butter is best avoided if active acne is, um, is, is a concern. So, a next comment. Sara Mustafa and Mala Shank Shankdar. And uh, uh, can you please uh, tell a remedy for hair fall? That is, that is their comment. Um, I can share a tip and a remedy. The tip is that please have a hair oil step in your hair care routine. Uh, number two is please look at your shampoo and see if it has harsh chemicals like SLSs, like parabens, like phthalates, like petrochemicals. If yes, I'm going to be pretty crude. It needs to be in the trash can and not in your hair. It is these harsh chemicals really among so many other reasons that have been linked to issues like hair fall. So that was uh, my big tip and of course your hair oil that I was talking about should be a top-notch, high quality, natural hair oil with preferably our, our Ayurvedic ingredients like Brahmi, like Shikakai, like Bringraj that have been known for thousands of years to help your hair be very, very healthy and reduce the appearance of common hair issues like excess hair fall. Now a remedy. Get one tablespoonful of sunflower oil, one tablespoonful of almond oil and one teaspoonful of castor oil and mix these together and with the tips of your fingers you're going to massage this oil mix throughout your scalp very gently but thoroughly and you're going to leave it on for about three hours if not overnight. Overnight is better and then wash your um, hair uh, and condition right after. I will reiterate your shampoo better be natural and not contain any of those harsh chemicals that uh, we don't deserve in our lives. Next comment and this one's going to be the last one for this video and that is uh, from Vahida John and she says can you tell a remedy for black neck and elbows please? Thank you. So she's talking about discoloration, of course, and so many of us have discoloration uh, along our eye, uh, elbow area, maybe even the knees, and many of us um, can have it on other parts of our body. Neck is a very common area too. So let me go into a remedy really quickly. Uh, what you want to do is you want to get one tablespoonful of oatmeal flour. And to this, you want to add about eight drops of fresh lemon juice, eight drops of fresh pineapple juice, and just enough rose water to make a paste and you're going to apply this on these affected areas one to two times a week and wash it in about 10 to 15 minutes and then you're going to apply serum and lotion right after so if you're wondering what serum and lotion is good for you what is this skincare routine how do I choose products don't worry uh, the first thing I'll say is go to ApsaraSkincare.com and there you will find a personalized skincare advice form. It's a green button, it's difficult to miss. Fill it out, tell me what's going on, what your question is and I'll be very, very happy to help you out and answer your questions. But other than that, in comments below, ask me what your question is and I can make a video answering your questions next. Other than that, like comment share with your friends if you're watching this on youtube do not forget subscribe up until the next time take care